Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Skycomp Solutions. If you didn't see our last video on the basics of Microsoft Stream, you can click below in the description to find out, find that video and watch it for yourself. It was my recommendation that you watch that video before you come to this one. It'll help you tremendously. But if you are a stream master, you watch that video, you're in the right place. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you today how to record internal tutorial videos for your company using Microsoft Stream. So as you can see, I have Microsoft Stream open in Chrome. I'm gonna go over to the Create tab. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom option, which is Record Screen or Video. This is for someone who wants to create an internal tutorial video that will help um, your staff learn a different piece of software that you know. Um, you can easily share it within your organization. And I'm gonna go through all of that right now. So the first thing you wanna do, hit that button in the Create me menu. Then you're gonna go and select your webcam. I'm recording this in a different way, but normally your camera is gonna show up right here, similar to a WebEx or Microsoft Teams video call. It's setting up your camera and microphone in a similar way. So we're gonna hit that. Then we're gonna make sure to choose the correct microphone. So if that's a USB microphone, if you're using a capture card with a camera like I am, you're going to want to select those specific devices and it's always good to do a test recording maybe bring up microsoft teams give your coworker a call make sure that it's working and it sounds good and it looks good but once your settings are all figured out you can select what you want to show your audience so you have the option of doing a screen and camera and it gives you an example here what that looks like you have your screen only so if you just want to share your screen and you want to do a voiceover over top of that you can do that. And if you want to show your camera only, you can do that as well. So it's just me. You can see me there just in the frame. You can do that as well and just be talking directly to your uh, coworkers. So something to note here, I'm using a very high res camera right here. If you're using a webcam, it's going to look a little bit lower quality, but Skycom can help you through that. If you want to read an article about the best virtual meeting setup, you can click that link in the description. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, it, Stream makes it really easy. All you have to do is hit start recording. And it's gonna ask you what you want to share. So Microsoft Stream wants to share the contents of your screen. Choose what you'd like to share. So we can choose Microsoft Stream, the Google Chrome window. We can choose a specific Chrome tab and we can choose the entire screen. It's as similar to sharing your content in a virtual meeting setting. It's the exact same concept. We're gonna select just our entire screen just for this example. We're gonna hit share. It gives you a countdown right away and you're in. Don't worry though, if you weren't ready for the countdown, you didn't have your notes in front of you, it has the option later to trim the video. So you can give yourself a breath, pick up your notes, put the information on your screen and start recording. You can also, within your recording, move yourself around the screen. If, you need, if, you're, if for some reason you're blocking something, you can move yourself around and out of the way. The next thing I'll show you about this is you can hit pause. This is really, really helpful if you forgot, say, your water bottle in the next room and your voice is getting dry and you just need to stop the recording for a second. Go get your water, take a breath, think about what you're going to say, and then you can start up that recording. It's gonna give you another countdown, but it's gonna start recording in the same place. It's, it's, you can see it started the seconds counted in the same place where I left off. Once you're done, it doesn't have a stop button per se, but it does have a next button. So you're gonna hit next. And then here's what I was talking about before. You can literally trim out anything that you want. So we didn't, we didn't like my intro there, so we're gonna cut that out. And I, I forgot to do an outro. So we're gonna cut that out as well. We can add that in later. And if we're really not happy with it, if we kind of watch through, we can actually watch through by hitting play there. If we're not happy with it, we can just go back and record it again. But for this example, I'm thrilled with it. It was a great video. We're gonna hit upload to stream. It's preparing. 
and there it is. You can add your name, your description, the video language. You can, you can choose specifically who in your company will be able to see this. You can allow everyone in your company to see this video. If you uncheck this, you can choose later specific people who can see it or just share the link with specific people. And once it says it's uploaded, it's going to process for a bit similar to YouTube. You can also below here, you can, if you want to edit this later, you can save the video file, which is really great. And I'm going to do that because I'm going to use it in the tutorial. So we're going to hit save the video file. It just downloads it for you at the bottom part of your screen there. It's really, really helpful. And the next thing we're going to do is I don't want to publish this to my company because I have things connected on my channel in stream that I don't want. I don't want people to click on this video by accident and not know what is up. So I'm just going to hit test tutorial and we're going to just save it as a draft. And the processing is complete. We can go to my videos. It's going to open that up in a new tab. And we can actually see, I did another test recording earlier, and we can actually see that it's here and you can hit publish on it if it's not um, published yet. And this is where you can share, you can replace the video entirely, you can delete it, you can trim it again. So if you're still not happy with it, you have the chance to edit it even more and you can download it if you forgot to save the file earlier. So creating tort video tutorials is no longer technically difficult. You just have to have a webcam, some sort of microphone and Microsoft Stream. They make it really easy. It's really, really intuitive software and you can edit in your own recording, which is amazing. If you'd like to see more videos that SkyComp is doing, you can click over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to SkyComp's YouTube channel, you can click right here, right? Where is it? Right here. Thanks for watching.